discuss at studios.co.uk. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Stephen Cronin and Bradley Harrington from Liverpool. The Gurdjie brothers Abdel and Daniel from Preston. And a Birmingham businessman from Mosley. How do all these people interlink? I know it's a madness. But Stephen and Bradley met Abdul in a phone shop. And they struck up a friendship. And when Daniel, his brother, had met them, he, he offered them the work of be, uh, intimidating a businessman, which he'd fell out with. In 2016, Daniel had invested £400,000 a business venture in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, along with the Mosley businessman. At the end of 2017, the business collapsed and the Gurji brothers lost all his money. Obviously, following the devastation of this, Daniel was wanting to get his money back and he began, he began threatening uh, the businessman, which he fell out with. His brother had met these guys from Liverpool, Cronin and Harrington, and they'd got to know each other and they'd pretty much obviously thought there was appropriate guys to offer £8,000 to attack this man's home with a grenade. And on May the 24th of 2018, security gates were opened and they made their way up the driveway and set off a homemade grenade inside the property, causing thousands of pounds worth of damage. They threw it through the bathroom window, but no one was even in the property at the time. The police were very determined to find these guys and they trawled through CCTV in the area and they came across an Audi A3 that was part not far from where it had occurred at the time they seen them getting into this Audi and making off they took their registration plates and then the police actually cross-referenced them with the automatic number plate recognition which is the AMPR cameras and they picked them up on their motorway going to and from Liverpool to Birmingham and then back again so after that grenade attack you'd have thought that that would have been the end of it but these guys only actually got £3,000 for doing it they'd come with guns and, and uh, they also had a van which the police later found DNA that matched them forensically linked to themselves which later convicted them. They rang the victim's family on the 26th of June, nearly uh, over a month afterwards and they threatened him and uh, they said that he had a Liverpool accent and they said we could come to some sort of arrangements but there was not to be messed with and these were serious people and the family was very intimidated but then what the guys actually did which was to be honest probably part of their downfall was they sent him a letter they sent him a greeting card where it said you silly sausage and it was from a local supermarket the police actually traced the camera footage from the service till got fingerprints off the card that matched harrington and crow and this was actually one of the main things that caught them and got them convicted they then got the mobile phones to find out that they'd been in contact with the gurji brothers daniel and abdul in the messages that were saying he gave me three grand he threatened the gurji brothers if they didn't pay him some more money. Daniel Gurgi replied by saying, you ain't getting any more dough, you've had eight grand, done furthermore, you could have had a lot more, don't threaten me again, I don't take to that. With overwhelming evidence, they admitted in court that there was guilty of causing an explosion with two, and was found with two hand grenades, a sawn off shotgun, an ammunition and a 2-2 rifle. Bradley Harrington was sentenced to 23 years and Stephen Cronin was sentenced to 21 years and eight months. And the Gurji brothers from Preston, the men had, that had actually hired these hitmen and try and extort this businessman from Birmingham, they was sentenced to 16 years and Abdul got eight years. So in actual fact, if they'd have just done the job themselves, it was only a difference of five years. To hear everyone's thoughts on this, so please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our city studios.